This article provides an outline of the currency of Spanish America Los Indias, the Indies from Spanish colonization in the 15th century until Spanish American independencies in the 19th. This great realm was divided into the Viceroyalty of New Spain capital, Mexico City, which came to include all Spanish territory north of Panama, the West Indies, Venezuela, and the Philippines, and the Viceroyalty of Peru capital, Lima, which included Panama and all Spanish territory in South America except Venezuela. The monetary system of Spanish America, originally identical to that of Spain, soon diverged and took on a distinctive character of its own, which it passed on to the independent nations that followed after. 1480–1516 Ferdinand and Isabella Topic. Topic. 1497 Medina del Campo Topic. Real R equals 34 Maravedis misses. After the Spanish kingdoms were united under Ferdinand of Aragon and Isabella of Castile and soon after the conquest of Granada, the Spanish monetary system was reformed. This caused some damage to the kingdom. The Maravedi had served as the Spanish money of account since the 11th century, but on June 2, 1497 the Ordinance of Medina del Campo site of the Great International Fairs made the real the unit of account, with the Maravedi defined as a fraction of it the 34th part. The standard silver coin became the real of 3 434 grams, 0 9306 fine 3 195 grams silver, rated 34 Maravedis. There was also a half, a three, and a six real coin. This reform adopted the Excelente called Ducato from 1504 for gold, a copy of the Venetian Ducat, three 521 grams, 23 and 3 quarters carats fine, 3,484 442 milligrams gold, rated 375 Maravedis. A third standard coin was the Blanca, a small coin of 1 198 grams, worth half a Maravedi. The Blanca was a copper coin containing a trace of silver, a type of coin known as bilin, velin in Spanish. This was the monetary system that the Spaniards brought to the New World. 1502 copper coins for Santo Domingo the first distinctive coins minted for Spanish America were copper four Maravedi pieces authorized for Santo Domingo by Ferdinand on December 20, 1505 later confirmed by his daughter, Johanna, on May 10, 1531. These coins were minted in Spain at Burgos and Seville and shipped to Santo Domingo Hispaniola, and subsequently also to Mexico and Panama. The first were struck 1502-1504 in the name of Ferdinand and Isabella, with an F.I. monogram obverse and pillars reverse. Ferdinand died in 1516, and Johanna's son Charles became King Carlos I of Aragon and Regent of Castile, so the last coppers struck in the early 1520s had a Carlos Johanna monogram. 1516-1520 Topic. Topic. Escudo gold Topic. Charles, who was also Holy Roman Emperor as Carl V, reformed the gold coinage in 1537, replacing the ducado with the escudo or corona, essentially a debased ducat. The escudo, 24 mm, 3 383 grams, 0 9167 fine, 3101 117 mg gold, was rated 350 million rupees. The ducado was not minted after 1537 but continued as a money of account. Ducado equals 375 maravedis, especially for foreign exchange. Topic: Tepesk gold. Topic. Charles sent silver coins to New Spain in 1523, but this was insufficient for local commerce. A sort of coin was produced at Mexico City, gold discs stamped with their weight and fineness and sometimes with royal countermarks. These discs are known as tepisk the Aztec word for copper gold or peso de oro. Although not strictly coins, they did serve as money and circulated as late as 1591. No examples are known to exist. Topic. 
Early pillars type silver Mexico City was growing and by 1525 it was petitioning the crown for a mint to produce coin locally in order to facilitate trade. This wish was granted by Royal Ordinance of May 11, 1535 and a mint opened and began producing silver coins at Mexico City in April 1536. Type 1536 the first silver struck in the Indies Spanish America, known as the pillar type because it depicted the pillars of Hercules, were hand-struck, typically on a full-sized round planchet of even thickness. OBV, the crowned shield of Leon and Castile, quartered with castle and lion, with the pomegranate of Granada at the point of the shield, and on either side a mintmark M for Mexico, the rim inscribed K-A-R-O-L-V-S-E-T-I-O-H-A-N-A-R-E-G-E-S. Rev. Two crowned columns, pillars of Hercules, with PLVS for plus ultra on a banner and the value dots or a number between them. The rim continuing the inscription with H I S P A N I A R V M E T I N D I A R V M. The full inscription appears only on the larger coins, becoming more abbreviated as coin size decreases. The small quarter reel has a crowned initial K without mintmark obverse instead of the shield. The half reel had the initials K I and the mintmark below. The assayer's initial appears either on the reverse between the column bases R or G, or on the obverse in place of one of the two mintmarks P or F. Struck at Mexico City between 1536 and 1542, undated. Denominations, one quarter, one half, one, two, and three reels, these coins are rare, perhaps only 300. 400 specimens survive, the two and three real coins were confused because of their similar size, so the three reels was discontinued in 1537. The one quarter reel was unpopular because of its small size, it was not minted after 1540. <laughs> Type 1542 the reverse of the design was modified in 1542, when waves were placed between the two pillars and the full motto PLVS VLTRA, without a banner, appeared across the field. Struck at Mexico City 1542-1572, Santo Domingo 1542-1564, and Lima 1568-1572, undated. Denomination, 1, 2, and 4 reels, at least 2,500 specimens of this series survive. Velen coins Velen coins of 2 and 4 Maravedis were minted at Mexico City and evidently at Santo Domingo 1542-1556, authorized June 28, 1542 by Viceroy Mendoza. They had K obverse and I reverse, each flanked by a lion and castle with the value under the I. They were rejected by the public, and they were withdrawn from circulation in 1556. Copper coins, which dominated currency circulation in Spain during the 17th century, were not minted again in Spanish America until the end of the 18th century. The reason why copper coinage was not utilized in the Spanish colonies as small change is unresolved and a matter of dispute among economic historians. Royal regulations of 1565 specifically stated that neither gold nor vellon was authorized to be minted in the Indies. 1556–1598 Philip II After Philip II ascended the throne in 1556, Mexico City continued minting type 1542 coins in the name of Charles and Johanna. Lima, however, used the inscription PHILIPVS2. From 1565 until 1821 there was an annual galleon convoy Galeones de Manila Acapulco that crossed the Pacific from Acapulco loaded with silver coin, which was exchanged at Manila in the Philippines for oriental goods, chiefly for spices, silk, tea, porcelain, and lacquerware. The output of the American mines was usually shipped to Spain in the form of ingots or of crude, temporary coins or cobs. Ingots and cobs were a way to account for the 20% royal fifth, quinto real of all treasure due the king. <laughs> Monetary law of 1566 
The value of the escudo was raised on November 23, 1566 from 350 to 400 million rupees, and multiples were introduced. The double escudo Doblin was called a pistole in the rest of Europe and in England. The eight escudo piece Anza de Oro was initially known as a double doubloon, then as a quadruple pistole, but eventually gained fame as the Spanish doubloon. This doubloon of eight escudos eventually became the most common Spanish gold coin, equivalent to 16 silver pesos. The 1566 reform also provided for a silver eight real coin, the real de ocho or peso duro which had already been minted in Spain in limited number. This coin, 39 to 40 mm, 27 468 grams, containing 25 561 grams pure silver, was now struck in the Indies, at Lima from 1568 and at Mexico City from 1572. This coin was commonly known in English as the piece of eight. 1572 cross-type silver the new coin design of 1572 new for America, but already being minted in Spain is known in English as the shield or the cross type. It was known in Mexico as Maquina de Papalote y Cruz windmill and cross money. These were hammered coins, produced quickly, and they generally deteriorated in quality throughout the period. Most cobs were soon melted down to produce coins, jewelry, etc. But many circulated as coin, but their crude appearance invited clipping, and many were soon lightweight. OBV, the crowned Habsburg arms, with mintmark and assayer's initial left and the value right, the rim inscribed PHILIPVS2 Dei Gratia, Rev, the quartered arms of Castile and Leon inside a quatrefoil design, the dividing lines emphasized, looking like a cross, the rim inscribed Rex HISPANIARVM ETINDIARVM. The inscriptions are abbreviated on the smaller coins. Minor differences in design detail can be ascribed to a specific mint. Struck at Mexico City 1572-1734, Santo Domingo 1572-1578, Lima 1572-1650, La Plata 1573-1574, Potosi 1574-1650, Panama 1580-1582, Cartagena 1622-1650, and Bogotá 1622-1650. This was the first New World type to be struck in the 8 real denomination. Denomination, 1, 2, 4, and 8 reals 1598–1621 Philip III Topic. Trade with the Far East and bullion shipments to Spain required ever greater quantities of processed silver. The demand for quantity led to ever poorer workmanship during the 17th century, so that coins were struck on crude pieces of silver. These roughly made lumps of silver, irregular in shape and thickness but of standard weight and fineness, conveniently served as temporary coins. They are known as macuquina in Spanish and as cobs in English. Philip III continued with the shield type of 1572 inscribed PHILIPVS3, also in denominations of 1, 2, 4, and 8 reals. Mexico City coins were dated from 1607. Potosi, where the position of mint assayer was auctioned off to the highest bidder, only began dating coins in 1617, after a scandal involving an illegal debasement of the Cobb coinage 1610-1617. The dates were added to the obverse inscription, but because of the irregular shape of a cob, they are rarely legible. Philip III unleashed the era of vellon in Spain in 1599, when his government attempted to remain solvent by authorizing vellon of pure copper. It was at this time that the flood of silver from Mexico and Peru peaked. The different kinds of coin—gold, silver, and vellon had circulated at par since 1497, but heavy issues of vellon above its intrinsic value destroyed its customary acceptance at par, and began driving silver out of circulation. By 1620 accounts in Spain were being kept in reels of vellon, no longer in silver reels. 1621–1665 Philip IV Topic. Coinage in Spain Topic. The output of vellon in 1621–1626 was prodigious. 
Since 1599 over 15 billion Maravedis worth of vellon had been minted. Silver was constantly at a premium, and prices rose sharply. Then the influx of silver began declining in the 1630s as more silver was retained in America for colonial needs. Topic. Coinage in America Topic. Old world coin types used in early America are known from archaeological evidence of coin hoards commencing at Santo Domingo, circa 1500, and onward. Most any coin used in the Old World could have migrated to the New, with explorers and settlers embarking from many ports with some local change in their purses. On arrival in America the first coins were walked about, able to be found hundreds of miles away from where their owners first stepped ashore. Coin types found in abundance, such as Blancas of the Catholic monarchs, were likely drivers of early commerce, and not mere keepsakes of the immigrants. The first New World Mint was authorized in 1536 at New Spain, Mexico City. Makukinas cobs Makukinas, also known as cobs, were used heavily in local transactions in America, although their poor quality produced many complaints. Water-powered roller die and punch technology, capable of making high quality, round coinage was imported to Segovia, Spain from Germany in the 1580s, yet the old royal mint at Segovia continued to make cobs. The Potosi mint was the last to establish this advanced technology, making cobs until 1772. The Makukina's irregular shape invited clipping, leading to ever greater numbers of coins below legal weight. Clipped coin tended to migrate at a small profit in commerce to cities in need of coin often those preparing a fleet for sale where hard money was accepted at, or near, face value. In 1784, by which time all Makukinas were over a decade old, King Charles III ordered Makukina in the Indies withdrawn and reminted. The order had to be reissued in 1789, but it remained unfulfilled due to a lack of resources. Cobs are the original treasure coins. Struck and trimmed by hand in the 16th through 18th centuries at Spanish mints in Mexico, Peru, and Colombia among others, silver and gold cobs are handsomely crude, nearly all with a cross as the central feature on one side and either a coat of arms shield or a tic-tac-toe like pillars and waves on the other side. Silver cobs are known as reels and gold cobs are known as escudos with two eight reels about 27 grams each equaling one escudo. Some cobs were struck with a date, and most show a mint mark and an initial or monogram for the assayer, the mint official who was responsible for weight and fineness. Size and shape were immaterial, which means that most cobs are far from round or uniform in thickness. Cobs were generally accepted as good currency all around the world, and were the exact coins pirates referred to as pieces of eight, eight reels, and doubloons, any gold cobs but originally two escudos. Their design and history have made cobs a very popular choice for jewelry. Topic. Philip's early coinage Topic. Silver coins of the 1572 type were minted with PHILIPVSIV and a one-half real cob was added to the usual one, two, four, and eight real denominations. There were major gold deposits in Colombia, a mint opened at Santa Fe de Bogotá in 1620, and it produced the first gold coins cobs in Spanish America in 1622. Unlike silver, the gold coins show the king's portrait obverse. A second illegal debasement of the cob coinage in the Viceroyalty of Peru in 1631-1648 was a major scandal. The public began refusing all Peruvian coins as potentially below standard. After this affair, the cross design was replaced at all the Peruvian mints by a new pillar and wave design. The reputation of coins from the Mexico City Mint was unblemished, and cross-type cobs continued to be produced there until 1734. Meanwhile, all Peruvian coins circulating in Spain were called to the mints in 1650 to be recoined. 1651 Pillars and Waves Type Topic. After the debasement scandals in Peru, cross-type cobs were replaced by a type known as pillars and waves in English and as parallera in Spanish. These hand-struck cobs, like the cross-type, degraded in quality as time passed. 
OBV, a cross with lions and castles similar to the 1572 reverse. Rev, a pair of pillars with waves below intersected by three horizontal lines of text, forming a tic-tac-toe design, the top line with the mintmark, the value, and the assayer's initial e L8M. Topic. Lima, 8 reels, Asayer M, the middle line PLVSVLTR o, abbreviated on the smaller coins, the bottom line the Asayer's initial, the last two numerals of the year, and the mint mark e M88 L. Topic Asayer M, 1688, Lima Struck at the Bogotá, Potosí, Cartagena, and Lima mints from 1651 on. Even after the introduction of milled coinage in 1732, the Potosí mint continued to produce cobs of this type the last in 1773. These cobs were generally accepted, but there were still occasional periods of debasement, and Peruvian coinage was usually considered inferior. 1665–1673 Topic. Peso equals 8 reals Escudo Topic. 2 pesos Topic 16 reals Topic. Currency reform of 1686 Topic. The overissue of Velen coin in Spain had driven gold and silver from circulation. After the failure of numerous attempts to correct this situation, the currency finally underwent a major reform on October 14, 1686, when Spain devalued silver by approximately equals 20% and adopted a dual coinage standard. The old silver standard Plata Vieja was maintained in the American colonies, but a new devalued silver Plata Nueva was adopted for circulation in Spain itself. The old piece of eight was valued at ten reals of the new silver coin. The new eight real coin was known as peso sencillo, the old piece of eight as peso fuerte. Foreign exchange was quoted in pesos de cambio, based on the old piece of eight, which continued to be produced in America. After this, the monetary systems of Spain and of Spanish America differed significantly. Topic. Coinage in America Topic. In 1675 Mexico was finally authorized to mint gold, producing its first gold cobs in December 1679, Lima minted its first gold in 1696. The silver coins of the 16th century bore an irregular row of dots near the rim, which became more regular during the 17th century as gold coins took on a rounder, standard shape. The circle of dots was placed closer to the edge. Silver coins followed the gold in adopting these improved details, but the piece of eight did not show a clear outline until 1709. 1700–1700 Topic. Peso, peso fuerte, duro equals 8 reals Anza de oro equals 16 pesos Various imperial dollars, called dollars in English, were familiar to North American colonists. The piece of 8 had the same intrinsic value as the dollar and by the end of the 17th century it too was being called dollar and was so designated in Jamaican monetary legislation of 1738. By the mid-18th century the piece of eight was commonly known in British North America as the Spanish dollar. Colloquial terms used in New Spain were, patica for the peso real de ocho, tostan for the medio peso four reals, and peseta for the two reals. Gold circulation became more common in Spanish America after 1704, when the West Indies adopted a gold standard. After 1716 the Spanish mints flooded Spain with debased silver based on the real sencillo of 3067G, containing 2,556 grams silver. These silver coins were called plata provincial. The silver minted in America was now officially called plata nacional, but was also called plata vieja old silver or plata grusa heavy silver, and occasionally plata doble double silver. The British East India Company had established a regular trade with China by 1720, paying for goods with Spanish silver. 
To prevent sweating and clipping, laws of 1728 and 1730 adopted modern minting techniques. Gold and silver coins were to be perfectly round and to have milled edges. There was a reduction in weight and fineness, the peso becoming 27064 G the same weight as the gold onza, with 24809 grams pure silver. The onza de oro or peso duro de oro eight escudo piece was 27064 G, 22 carats fine, 24808 936 mg pure gold. The Mexico City Mint was the first to comply, in 1732, using an up-to-date screw press. An edge design, resembling a tulip, was put on the eight reels to make any clipping evident. Technical problems and local resistance to design change delayed the adoption of milled coinage at Lima and Santiago until 1751. Topic. Milled pillar silver of 1732 Topic. The milled pillar type of 1732, columnario in Spanish, was machine struck on a full-sized round planchet. OBV, the crowned arms of Castile and Leon, the assayer's initial left, the value right, the rim inscribed Philip V D G H I S P A N E T Eind Rex plus. Rev. Two orbs representing the old and the new worlds under a crown and over the Straits of Gibraltar, flanked by two crowned pillars with plus VLTR on banners wrapped around the columns, the inscription VTRAQUEVNUM, and below, the date, preceded and followed by the mintmark. The obverse shield is the usual lions, castles, and pomegranate, but with the center defaced by the Bourbon arms, three fleur de lis. Some minor modifications were subsequently made in the location of the mintmark and assayer's initials. The eight-reel coin, 39.5 mm, was given a protective corded edge design resembling a tulip. Produced until 1772, at Mexico from 1732, Santiago and Lima from 1751, Guatemala City from 1754, Santa Fe de Bogotá from 1759, and Potosi from 1767. During the production of these coins some minor modifications were made in the location of the mintmark and assayer's initials. The old-style cobs continued to be produced in the Viceroyalty of Peru, with the last coming from the Potosi Mint in 1773. Denominations, 1 half, 1, 2, 4, and 8 reels. The eight reels produced from 1732 until 1772 was the coin that became a standard in the English colonies in North America, it is the coin referred to in colonial contracts calling for payment in Spanish milled dollars. <laughs> <laughs> milled gold of 1732 The first milled gold was also produced in 1732 at the Mexico City Mint. The production of gold cobs continued until 1750, after which time they were completely replaced by milled coinage. The gold coins feature an obverse portrait design, and the royal arms reverse appear smaller than on the silver coins to allow for the encircling collar of the golden fleece. The royal titles are the same as on the silver, but the legends vary. The 1732-1747 type bears the inscription Anitium Sapientiae Timor Domini. 1746–1759 Ferdinand VI Coinage in Spain The debased Spanish provincial silver was supposed to remain in Spain, but it crossed the Atlantic to create problems. The two-reel coin was particularly common in the English colonies, where it was known as a pistarine. It was easily distinguished from the Spanish-American silver because provincial silver had the crowned heraldic Habsburg shield obverse and cross with the Castile and Leon shield reverse, and were known as cross pistarines and cross reels. The peso duro dollar was usually worth five pistarines. On May 4, 1754 Ferdinand VI prohibited the circulation in America of all money coined in Spain, including national gold and silver coins identical with those minted in America. The quantity of overvalued provincial silver in circulation was so great that colonial officials lacked the means to redeem and remove it from circulation. Coinage in America 
Topic. In 1748 the inscription on the gold coins was changed to Nomina Magna Sequor until 1759. Lima switched from producing gold cobs to minting milled gold in 1751. A mint opened at Santiago, Chile, in 1750, which produced chiefly gold coins. The rim inscription is FERDNDVDGHISPANET eind rex plus obverse, and plus VTRAC VNUM plus mintmark plus year plus mintmark plus reverse. On the silver eight real coin, the Royal Spanish Crown on top of the left pillar was replaced in 1754 by an imperial crown. 1759 to 1788 Charles III Topic. Topic. Coinage type of 1759 Topic. The silver of Charles III bore the rim inscription Carolus 3D Ghispanetind Rex plus obverse, and plus Vitra Kvnum plus Mintmark plus Year plus Mintmark plus reverse. The eight real piece was commonly called the Carolus dollar in English. The inscription on the gold coins of Charles III was changed to in utroq Felix Auspus Deo and remained thus until the American colonies gained independence. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Spanish dollars in China. Topic: <inaudible> After 1757, China restricted European trade to Canton. See 13 factories for a description of this trading system. The British East India Company dominated this trade and paid for its purchases with Spanish Carolus dollars, which were accepted in China for more than the fours, 2d sterling that was considered their intrinsic value. Chinese merchants gradually became accustomed to the dependable weight and fineness of Spanish milled silver and, instead of melting the coins down, they began to use them as currency, often with a chop seal, countermark, to guarantee its acceptability. Coinage of 1772 Charles adopted new coin designs with the royal profile, more difficult to counterfeit, and his pragmatic of May 29, 1772 ordered all money in circulation in Spain and the Indies to be recoined at the same weight and fineness, but he secretly instructed the mints to lower the fineness of national gold from 22 carats to 21 and 5 eighths and of national silver from 091,667 to 090,278. This gave a peso of 27064 G with 24 433 grams silver and an onza of 27064 G with 24386057 mg gold. These coins are known as the portrait or modified pillar type in English, and as busto in Spanish. English head real was applied to the provincial silver real coined in Spain, which was 20% lighter, OBV, bust of the king, the rim inscribed Carolus 3 Dei Gratia with the date. Rev, two columns pillars of Hercules with the motto plus VLTRA on banners, but the two orbs between the columns were replaced with the crowned shield of Leon and Castile, the rim inscribed HISPAN. E.T. Eind. Rex, then the mintmark, value, and assayer's initials. The corded tulip edge of the eight reels was replaced with an edge design of alternating circles and rectangles. Topic. Coinage of 1786 Topic. Secret instructions to the mints, June 25, 1786 reduced the fineness of escudos to 21 carats this should have produced an onza containing 23,681 257 mg fine gold, but foreign assays show the coins only 08,698 fine, and those minted after 1800 consistently 08,646 fine. Assays made by Bonneville on coins minted 1786 to 1800 showed that all silver was minted only 08,958 fine. The old true standard was not restored until after 1821. Topic: 1788 to 1808 Charles IV. Topic: 
Because of problems in supplying new dyes, an edict of December 24, 1788 authorized the American mints to continue using the dyes with the portrait of Charles III, while changing the name to Charles IV by adding another Roman numeral I. New dyes finally arrived in 1791. The eight reels was struck at Potosi in 1789 and 1790 with the bust of Charles III but the name altered to I.V. then with the new portrait of Charles IV in 1791. The first cuarto one quarter reel was struck at Mexico City in 1794. 1808 to 1821 Ferdinand VII. Topic: The colonies were cut off from Spain by the French occupation and the Peninsular War of 1808 to 1814. They were ruled by independent juntas that refused to recognize Joseph Bonaparte, proclaiming allegiance to the deposed Ferdinand VII. But the independence movement had already been initiated in earnest by Francisco de Miranda, and in 1810 it broke out in full force. The Spanish Napoleonic coinage was used only in Spain. The American mints initially minted coins with the portrait of Ferdinand VII. The minting of royalist coins effectively ended in 1821, when Republican forces captured the mint at Lima although Republican coins were counterstamped as royalist at Lima in 1824. Monetary legacy The monetary unit in the former Spanish colonies was the silver peso, with a value of 8 reals. Silver coins were, cuartillo 1 quarter r, medio 1 half r, real, peseta 2 r, medio peso 4 r, and peso 8 r. If minted to standard, they were either 0,916 fine or from 0,972 0,902 fine. Circulation also included a varying quantity of makukina, worn, and a varying weight and fineness. There were also silver coins of various types that had been produced by republicans and royalists during the struggle for independence. Gold did not circulate as common currency. It was used primarily in international trade and for hoarding. The standard coin was the gold onza, with variations in fineness, the pre-1771 coins being 09,165 fine, the 1771 type, 0901 fine, and the 1786 type, only 0.875 fine. Copper coins were also in circulation, having appeared in quantity during the struggles for independence. Technical summary Topic. The mint standards were set by the Spanish crown and until 1686 the coinage of Spain and of the Indies Spanish America were identical, save in two respects. A minor difference was that coins minted in America were inscribed Rex Hispaniarvmetindiarvm King of the Spains and the Indies, while those minted in Spain had only Rex Hispaniarvm. The major difference was that vellon or copper coins were not minted for circulation in the Spanish American colonies, while after 1602 the currency of Spain itself consisted chiefly of copper coin. Although Mexico and Peru were the chief source of the world's silver, after 1620 silver was always at a premium in Spain and vellon constituted the accounting unit and the chief medium of exchange the cuarto also became a common accounting unit. The silver flowed through Spain in a steady stream to pay for imports, wars, and imperial expansion. Philip IV reformed Spain's monetary system in 1686 by debasing the silver coinage, which had been unchanged since 1497. This reform applied only to coins minted in Spain. The coinage of the American colonies, which had already assumed great importance in international trade, was left untouched, and the 1497 silver standard continued in use until 1728. From this time on, the monetary systems and currencies of Spain and of Spanish America developed differently. Coins were defined by monetary regulations as so many minted per mark weight and of a certain minimum fineness. The mint mark used was the mark of Castile. It originated when Alfonso X 1252 replaced the Roman pound Libra with the Cologne mark. Spanish numismatists usually use the weight of this mark as determined in 1799, i.e. 230.0465 grams. The measure of fineness lay in Spanish for gold was 24 quilates carats, each of 4 granos grains. The measure for silver was 12 dineros, each of 24 granos. 
Topic mints topic the four early permanent mints in the Indies were Mexico City 1536 to 1821 Lima 1568 to 1572 1577 to 1588 1659 to 1660 1684 to 1824 Potosi 1574 to 1825 Santa Fe de Bogota 1622 to 1820 early ephemeral mints were five Santo Domingo 1542 to 1564 15 1573 to 1578 La Plata Modern Sucre 1573 to 1574 Panama City 1580 to 1582 Cartagena 1622 to 1655 Cuzco 1698 Later permanent mints were 3 Guatemala City 1733 to 1821 Santiago de Chile 1749 to 1817 Popayan 1758 to 1822 Topic references topic The Practical Book of Cobb's Fourth Ed. Sedwick Carson, R. A. G. 1962, Coins, Ancient, Medieval and Modern, London, Hutchinson, pp. 428-430, ISBN 0-09-104820-6 Chalmers, Robert 1893, History of Currency in the British Colonies, London, Air and Spottiswood for Her Majesty's Stationery Office, pp. 5-23, 101-105, 390-396, ISBN 0-600 165029562956X Dargent Chamot, Eduardo. Las Casas de Manita Españolas en América del Sur in Spanish. Archived from the original on the 5th of April 2008. Retrieved the 13th of February 2015. Online book detailing the history of the Spanish mints in South America. Sadelet, René, 1955. Tout les Manets du Monde, Paris, Riquel Sairi, pp. 23-24, 171-172, 432-433 W.A., 1967-1896, The History of Currency 1251-1894, being an account of the gold and silver monies and monetary standards of Europe and America, together with an examination of the effects of currency and exchange phenomena on commercial and National Progress and Well-Being, New York, G.P. Putnam's Sons, reprinted by Augustus M. Kelly, pp. 319-344, L.C. 67 2086 Sumner, W.G. The Spanish Dollar and the Colonial Shilling, American Historical Review, The American Historical Review, Vol. 3, No. 4, 3, 3, 607-619, doi, 10.2307, JSTOR 1 million 834,139 Real de Ocho 1621-1700 Portal Fuenterabolo in Spanish. Retrieved 13 February 2015. Information on the early coinage in Spanish America and contemporary Spain. Topic other references consulted topic Standard Catalog of World Coins, Spain, Portugal and the New World, by Krause Mischler 2002, Contributor, Daniel Frank Sedwick, Calbeto de Grau, Gabriel, 1970. Compendio de las Piezas de Ocho Reals, Two Volumes, Tomos. San Juan, Puerto Rico, Ediciones Juan Ponce de León. Biscoff, William, Editor 1989. The Coinage of El Peru, New York, American Numismatic Society. Cayenne, Adolfo, Clemente Cayenne and Juan Cayenne, 1998. Las Manitas Españolas, del Trimus al Euro, del 411 a Nuestros Días. Madrid External links the Colonial Coinage of Spanish America An Introduction by Daniel Frank Sedwick